What's good? What's happening guys? It's Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech, and today we're going to talk some tech stuff because you know I love technology, I love anything that comes out gadget-wise. Today we've got the PlayStation DualSense Edge Wireless Controller. Man, these titles are just becoming mad. I'm just going to call it the PlayStation Edge Controller because DualSense is its own thing. This is going to give you an edge over your competition. And yeah, man, it's about time that Sony created their own Pro Controller. Woo! I'm mad excited for this. I've been looking for other controllers for my fighting games, my first-person shooting games. Obviously, Xbox has theirs. Uh, I guess Nintendo has theirs when it's not coming to the Joy-Cons. But I guess this reveal is looking super sick. So let's just dive in and see what we can get from this. And yeah, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you're liking this kind of videos. If you love tech stuff and you just love gaming. You know where you have to be right here with Mr. Blitz Tech. So yeah, so just by looking at it, you can just tell that I'm going to have to take this thing apart already. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Everything just come apart, yeah? All right. Mad back buttons, all them things that I'm loving the texture on it already. Nice. So yeah, man. So just looking through the video, obviously it's just not that long anyway. They're just little snippets of what the controller can do. Obviously, fully customize that controller because as you can see, this one it's just got a plate here. You can take off the front and the back. I'm gonna take this thing apart anyway. But that one just seems like it's a bit more easier for people to do at home rather than having to, you know, pop off the plastics and stuff. Which I think is just legit. And it's just got more buttons. I'm pretty sure they're mappable, which is actually pretty good. I just love all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so if you go over to the PlayStation website, they've got a whole new blog about this. Just saying that you can actually remap any button to anything you kind of like. I think that's actually kind of legit, especially if you're playing just, like I say, a particular kind of game, you just want a button somewhere else, especially if the game's not allowing you to do that, because some games, the buttons are just fixed. Man, those games are just mad. But yeah, man, some games do allow you to customize your buttons. But with this, having more buttons, that just makes things a bit more easy for your kind of gameplay kind of take too. So yeah, that's actually kind of legit. And even once you map those buttons, then you can even have profiles for said buttons. So instead of constantly remapping, trying to remember where you put where and when, I'm pretty sure you have profiles for maybe just fighting, first person shooting, just your everyday third person game or puzzle game or whatever have you. I'm just glad that they just, this is all just now baked in and it's just there to have your playground with this thing. I just can't wait. Saying about can't wait, there's no release date, which is kind of mad. So maybe soon if they really release this, it seems like this is almost in a bag anyway. So I would hope maybe the anniversary of PlayStation, so around November time, or De December time, wishful thinking. And if we're gonna to come to the price, which also was not mentioned, I'm gonna say it's gonna be the same price as the Xbox Elite Controller 2. So maybe from 150 pounds to 200 pounds. Yes, it's gonna be a hefty price, but as you can see, it's just coming with a lot of gadgetry. So I'm not surprised and it has to be competitively priced. So, woo, that's like almost half the price of a PS5, you know? Or just a new console. Man, I'm going to have to get a loan out for this one. So, yeah, so also it comes with um, new analog sticks as well. So it's going to come with the usual ones. But suppose you can get low profile, high profile, easy to come out. But they're also going to be, be sold separately. So that's also going to be kind of crazy. Man, this loan is going to be kind of nuts. Billy, what do you think about that? Billiam is good. He's all right with that kind of... I don't know where that guy gets his money from. But that's kind of crazy. But yeah, man. I'm just going to have to just fully play around with this. See what I can do with it. Because they had a little gadget for the PS4. I'm not sure if anyone bought that. I definitely didn't buy it. In fact, I'm going to have to. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I'm going to have to buy that. Check that out. Maybe compare it. See if it's even worth for the PS4. I'm pretty sure that thing is heftily priced as well. I tell a lie. It's not that heftily priced. It's actually just £30. Pounds. So it's not that bad for the PS4 controller, but it's, I think it only adds about two more buttons, which is a bit mad. I'm pretty sure the Edge also adds only two more buttons, while 
a scuff controller and the Elite add four buttons at the back. Oh, Sony, you're kind of lacking there, man. You're kind of lacking. That's kind of a shame. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to complain if we can see what the other buttons are because they've got FM buttons as well at the bottom. Ah, I just need to get my hands on it, man. I need a hands-on test on this thing. So, woo! But yeah, man, I'm actually looking forward to the controller. I love a bit more tech. So I'm just going to deep dive into this thing when I do get it. Maybe, you know, do a bit of a madness. Don't look at me. It's all right, man. I'll, just, like I said, I'll get a budget for this. But guys, if you want to see more tech stuff, if you want to come to me about more tech stuff, what do you think the price would be? When do you think this is releasing? And hashtag tech talks. And yeah, we'll see about that. But guys, I'll see you on the next level. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.